You've been in San Diego now for a week for the World Baseball Classic. Has it hit you this week that this is your home now? This is the ballpark that you're going to be part of for the rest of the year? Yeah, I kind of. Um, you know, I've been here before and um, you know, I pitched here a couple times, but now being as a Padre, you know, being pitching your home ball, you know, your home ballpark, um, you know, it's really nice. Um, you know, I'm really happy that um, this is going to be my, my home now and, uh, you know, just looking forward to for this season. You had a chance to start for Venezuela earlier this week at Petco Park. Four and a third innings, only allowed one run, had a lot of movement on your slider. What did you think of your performance, and do you think we'll see that slider more this season? Well, I, I feel pretty well. Um, you know, my ball was coming out good, and um, my breaking ball were good, too. Um, you know, that's one thing about the Petco, you always um, see all your pitches moving a lot, so... Um, I'm really excited for this season. Um, I, re I feel really healthy, and um, um, I know that if I you know, keep healthy all year, I can pitch really well here. You have had some time in spring training to get to know your teammates a little. What are your impressions for this season and this team, your early impressions on this year? I see a lot of young, uh, young guys uh, with a lot of talent. I know, um, I know, you know it's, a, it's a young team, but uh, I know, they, you know they're going to go uh, every day 100%. So that, that's what I'm really excited about it. I know we can, we can win some ball games. And you know, if you, you know, are going to be one of the veteran guys there, uh, if we keep uh, showing them how you know, to um, go 162 games, I think they're gonna be, we're going to be good and we're going to you know, uh, surprise a lot of teams. You said you feel healthy. I know you want to prove yourself as a consistent starter. What makes this year exciting for you individually? Is it the health? Is it a new team? What is it for you? I think all, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but especially being healthy. Um, last year, I pitched um, healthy. I, I feel really good, but I, I think this year, as a year that, I, you know, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to prove myself that I'm, um, you know, back to normal again, back where I, I used to be in Colorado, and I'm really excited for this season. Your manager, Andy Green, has not named his opening day starter, but I just want to point out that in 2013, you also participated in the WBC, and then you were the opening day starter for the Rockies, and you had one heck of a year. So if that does happen this year, and you are the opening day starter, what would that mean to you to be part of a new organization and get that honor? Yeah, it's gonna be like you say. It's gonna be an honor for me to, you know, to be the up and the starter. Uh, I really don't know anything about it. I really, you know, I uh, don't know what's gonna happen. But uh, you know, I'm gonna be ready for, you know, any anything that Andrew Green wants me to do. Um, like I said, oh, I know him from when I was in Arizona, and uh, always been nice to me. Always being straight, you know, saying the thing, you know, what I need to say to me. And um, you know, I just really excited to be part of, you know, his thing, his stuff, and uh, help help him the best way that I can. When you were out here pitching at Petco earlier this week, you felt good. You felt uh, like this ballpark's going to be good for you. Yes, I think. So. Yes, I'm, I'm like I said, really excited to be here. I always when I pitch uh, with all the team, you always want. You always said. I mean, I always said. Uh, yeah, I want to. I gonna. I want to go pitch in Petco because you move move a lot, and uh, you know you always feel good. It's a really good weather every day, so. Yeah. Um, it's really nice day to pitch. On the broadcast, your wife, Mexican, she was wearing a Venezuela shirt. She was supporting you. They talked a little bit about a story about how you met her in spring training. Can you uh, can you give us this story? Yes, uh, spring training with Colorado before was in Tucson, and that's where she uh, she were she was living. And um, I met her there, and we started you know hanging out, and then and then we got married. Then we I got now I got I got a six year old daughter and a one year old son. So. Um, Yes, uh, she was kind of uh, in Mexico. She was kind of um, confused. You know, we played last game against Mexico. You know, we, we, if we win, we uh, we keep moving. We well, we end up losing, but and we still play one more game. But uh, I know she was she was rooting for me. <laughs> she, she had to back her husband, yeah. right? <laughs> yes, it was hard for her, but I I know at the end she was if she want us to you know keep, keep moving forward. Julius, thank you so much. We look forward to watching you this season. We appreciate your time. Thank you.